for a look at sports, here's Charles Aruka. Thanks, Jerma, and welcome to Sports News. Channel's track and field long jump gold medalist Olua Dara Goodluck, a student of Green Springs School, Lecky, wants to be at the Olympics someday. Dara won three medals at the Channel's track and field championships, including a gold in the long jump, bronze in 400 meters, and led her school to third place in the 4x400 meters relay. For her, success did not come easy. Hard work and a never say die attitude were the reasons for her performance. Well, it's been absolutely amazing, and I'm so honored to be here. I'm so glad that I came. Uh, I got a bronze medal for uh, 400 meters, a uh, gold medal for uh, long jump. Well, it's just keep on pushing, don't give up, just do what you gotta do, and you just do your best. That's what keeps me going. Just start strong, finish stronger. That's what I put in my mind every time. Well, at least every year we have a, a, a sports day competition, very important event, and every week, at least like three times, we train, we train hard. We we always try to, you know, finish stronger from the last week. So it's basically that we're training to keep on getting better and better, and we never give up. So, well, I definitely want to go to the Olympics someday, hopefully, and maybe one day I just might be there. Home from youth athletics to golf now, Southern Sanikoi is set to host the seventh edition of its golf tournament scheduled to tee off on November the 16th at the Lakawa Lakes Golf and Country Estate. The tournament will feature about 80 players nominated by corporate sponsors representing various sectors of the economy. The golf tournament is in line with Southern Sonikoi's tradition of fostering tourism through sports within its business community. The tournament is one of the strategic plans developed by the Luxury Hotel to reinforce its commitment to the promotion of sporting activities, relaxation and networking within its community. Uh, it's going to be a great uh, showcase for the game of uh, golf, the sport itself. It's going to be a lot of uh, corporate social uh, interaction as well. Uh, the sponsors, the corporates themselves will have the interaction with the players. We're going to have some great guests. We're going to have a, a fantastic prize giving and uh, definitely some, uh, some, some strong competition. And I think what, uh, what it makes the uh, event very unique is that it's it's always well supported. It is part of our corporate social responsibility as a hotel, and we're looking forward to a great day. Participants at the event start a chance of winning exciting prizes, courtesy of the tournament's corporate sponsors. Well, KLM uh, is, uh, is very uh, good in golf. Uh, we support many golf events. We even have our own uh, golf event in, uh, in the Netherlands, which is called the KLM Open, where all the big professional players come. So that's why when there are golf events, Events, we always try to sponsor and support uh, the events. For us as an airline, we target a market segment that will offer us yield on our routes. And that's the essence of targeting. Golfers are the people that will travel. Golfers are people that will spend money to go on leisure or business, that look for exotic places where they can do a whole lot of things. So for us, it's about the opportunity to get access to the real market. So target marketing, looking at yield for us, and being able to put us on the map as well, because um, we're just about three months in the market, three months plus in the market. So this platform gives us a leverage to be able to showcase ourselves, our products, the opportunities for business and leisure, even in Namibia as a country. The Southern Sonikoi Golf Tournament has grown bigger in scope and in turn attracted both traditional and new sponsors who are keen on partnering with the hotel to ensure a world-class golfing experience. Now to international football. Super Eagles stand-in captain Ahmed Musa and 21 other players were involved in this evening's training session at the Stephen Keshi Stadium at Sabah as the Group E leaders intensified preparations for Saturday's 2019 African Cup of Nations qualifier against Bafana Bafana of South Africa in Johannesburg. Only France-based forward Samuel Kalu is expected to join his teammates on Wednesday. The three-time African champions lead Group E with nine points and need just one point from this weekend's encounter to secure a slot at next year's tournament that will be hosted by Cameroon the Super Eagles will leave for South Africa on Thursday. That's it on Sports News and it's back to Ijoma with the rest of the news at 10. 
Thanks a lot, Charles. UK and EU officials have agreed to a draft Brexit deal in a significant breakthrough after extensive talks. According to reports, a small number of outstanding issues remain to be sorted. Cabinet ministers arrived 10 Downing Street to review documentation on the draft text ahead of Wednesday's meeting as Theresa May seeks ministers' backing and decides on the next step to take. Some ministers have expressed deep concerns about the agreement, which many critics believe can leave the UK trapped in a customs agreement with the EU. See how you can support it from a democratic point of view. I don't see how a unionist uh, can support it, and I don't see how you can support it if you believe in the political and economic freedom of this country. So, if you ask my question, am I going to vote against it? The answer is yes. We're going to stay in the customs union on this deal. We're going to stay effectively in large parts of the of the single market, and uh, that means it's vassal state stuff. Uh, we are going to, for the first time in a thousand years, uh, this place, this parliament, uh, will not have a say over the laws that govern this country. It is a quite incredible state of affairs. It will mean that we are having to accept rules and regulations from Brussels over which we have no say ourselves. It is utterly unacceptable. And the main news again. The House of Representatives Committee on Emergency and Disaster Preparedness today insisted that the Vice President has questions to answer over 5.8 billion Naira Consolidated Revenue Fund approved for NEMA. However, the Vice President, through his spokesman, Lao Luakonde, described the lawmaker's conclusion as both false and misleading. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Ijo Mahanyapo. Good night.